Greetings, this is our second lab in the series for Chapter 2, Lesson 2.6, Cable Troubleshooting. We previously explored um, the troubleshooting for physical connectivity. And then in this lab, what we're going to do is we have a scenario where we have to troubleshoot. So we're going to use the skills that we learned in the previous lab. Uh, you may check on the list. The previous lab that we did was uh, 12.611. 2.611, and this is 2.612, where we apply those skills. So by looking at this scenario, you are a network tech. The employee in Office 1 says he can communicate with the computer in Office 2. He's asking us to come to their office and fix the problem. So, we're going to go into the Office 2, but we can, um, let's go to Office 2, and let's check the status of the connection. This is Office 1. We need to get to Office 2, actually. And we can see there is no connection on the Internet. But just looking at the status uh, of the network card, we look at the configuration and we have a manual IP assigned with a subnet mask and a valid network ID. So the problem is not in the configuration. So we're going to go back to Office 1 and confirm that this Office 1 is in the same network, which it is. And we want to uh, make sure we cannot ping the remaining terminals. So we're going to use the list that we have here. We're going to ping the networking closet. Which is successful. Then we ping the Office 1, which is the same computer. Uh, I made a mistake on the ping. 0 0.30. And it is working. Then we're going to ping Office 2. 31. And it's unreachable. So here is the problem that the user is reporting 100% lost. We're going to check the IT admin connectivity. And it's successful. And then we check the executive office from here as well. And we have a successful connection. So we can see the only problem is uh, the 31 computer, which is the Office 2. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Office 2 computer. And the first thing we're going to look is at the network card status. <coughs> We go back to the hardware, we go back to the computer, and we can see there is no connectivity, right? Uh, then we have to check the network closet. We can go ahead and check the panel, the patch panel, and the switch status slides, so we can uh, guesstimate what the problem is. And here is the patch panel. And we are looking at Office 2, and we have a cable that is connecting to port 4 in the switch. And the port 4 in the switch is, of course, no connection, no activity. So, uh, what we're going to do is, we're going to go back, and we're going to explore the hardware in Office 2. As we said, we don't have connectivity. So the first thing we're going to change is the cable in Office 2. So what we're going to do here is we're going to remove the existing cable. We take it out from the wall. And we take it from the network car. And we're going to get a new cable. We need to have a CAT6A cable. This is CAT5. Cat 6 RJ45, we have two cables. So we're going to get the first cable connected to the wall outlet. 
and the other end of the cable we're going to bring it to the computer network card. We zoom in and we still see the ports are dead on the status lights on the network port. So uh, we can see that the problem is not the cable. We replace the cable. This is when you don't have a tool to test the cable. Uh, it would be wise to test the cable. This is the cable we remove. We just leave it loose in there. It's supposed to be a good cable. We check in the Windows configuration and we still don't have internet access. So the next thing we're going to do is going to go back to the hardware in the networking closet and we're going to replace the cable that is connecting Office 2 which is this one. So we remove it from the switch and we remove it from the office. Okay, and we can see that this is a broken cable. So we're going to get another CAT 6A cable. This is CAT 5, CAT 6A, that's only one. So we're going to connect it to the port four in the switch and the other end to the office too. And then we can check on the switch and indeed we fix the issue. We have activity lights and connection light status. We can also go back to the office two computer that we had the issue and now we can see connectivity. We can go into the Ethernet and it is connected. In order for us to, do, to test the connection, we're going to launch our terminal. And we're going to ping all of the computers on the table, starting with the networking closet. We're going to go and ping with 192.168.0.10 successful, then we ping the office 1 192.168.0.30 I made a mistake again, 0 0.30 and that is a successful connection we move into the IT admin 192.168.0.33 successful connection we ping the executive office 192.168.0.34 and all connections are working properly. So we address the problem. Okay, uh, with this we're going to go ahead and score our lab. We realize that the problem was in the networking closet and we had to replace the cable that uh, we have highlighted here from the patch panel to the switch. Let's go ahead and score our lab, and we have a 100% score. And this is the activity we just did in the networking closet, replace the patch cable for Office 2. That's all for this lab, and we're going to move into the following lab, 2613.